Forecasters warn that while Hurricane Lee has lost a little strength over the past day, the storm is expected to re-strengthen as it moves towards the southwest Atlantic. Dangerous surf and rip currents along the majority of the U.S. east coast are beginning, which will worsen throughout the week. At the last report from the National Hurricane Center, winds were sustained around 105 miles per hour, making the storm a Category 2 on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale. While the storm will remain far enough away from the Caribbean islands for any direct impacts, dangerous surf and life-threatening rip currents are already buffeting the Leeward Islands and Puerto Rico. These conditions will continue spreading to Hispaniola, Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas and Bermuda over the coming days. The U.S. Coast Guard says sea conditions had deteriorated along Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands, with 10 to 15-foot surf and life-threatening rip currents. The agency says there are particular dangers for those boating, fishing, beachgoing, or engaging in water sports there this weekend. We are concerned about people and boaters who may underestimate the impacts of this passing storm, said Captain Jose E. Diaz, Coast Guard Sector San Juan, Puerto Rico, Commander. The increase in projected sea states of 10 to 15 feet severely reduces our ability to respond to a maritime distress with the full use of our resources. While Lee is expected to slow down in the coming days in the southwestern Atlantic as the steering currents wane, dangerous surf and rip currents are beginning along much of the U.S. eastern seaboard and continuing for the next several days. Fox weather hurricane specialist Brian Norcross stated that Lee is not likely to be a direct threat to Florida, Georgia, or South Carolina, but the storm will generate high surf with powerful waves that may cause damage along the shorelines. While computer models predict Lee will stay offshore of the eastern seaboard, some indicate that the mid-Atlantic and northeast coasts may still feel effects from the storm and monitoring future forecasts is recommended.